Hello everybody, you are watching Curious Pavel. Recently I showed you the painted hall in Greenwich, a building that is designed by Sir Christopher Wren. Not painted, designed. Now I'm going to show you Wren's masterpiece, and that is St. Paul's Cathedral. Quite interesting place, so let's go inside. There might be a confusion about Westminster Abbey and St. Paul's Cathedral. What is what, what the roles are. So let me clarify this for you. Westminster Abbey is the private church of the Queen or of the monarch. While St. Paul's, that's the Cathedral of London. This is where the events that are attended by the public are happening. Some events even include ballet or music. Quite a big variety. Opening times for St. Paul's Cathedral are Monday to Saturday, 8.30 to 4.30. But sometimes there are late evening openings and you can enjoy a nice sunset that I'm gonna show you at the end of this video. In the 1960s, Winston Churchill's funeral is right here at St. Paul's Cathedral, but he's not buried here. There are other famous figures that are buried here that you may know. One of them is Lord Horatio Nelson, and the other one is the guy who defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo. That's the Duke of Wellington. And as you go in the cathedral, he's right at the beginning. Right there. This is it's exactly like Westminster Abbey. There are graves almost all over the place. Oh my god, what is this? Let's have a sneak peek. Ah, too dark. I love these tiny little steps. Oh no, there's no photographer. When you're climbing the cathedral and you're halfway up, there's a place called the Whispering Gallery. So why is it called like that? It is said that if you go with a friend and you touch your ear to the wall and you send your friend on the other side of the dome and he touches his ear as well and if you whisper something, your friend will be able to hear it. I couldn't try it because it's quite crowded. There is a lot of noise pollution. Plus, you cannot take pictures or videos for some reason, so I cannot even show you the gallery. But it's a nice stop on your way up. The dome of the cathedral is one of the tallest in the world, and the cathedral is the second biggest in the UK. Oh, you're asking the first one. The biggest one is the cathedral of Liverpool. Once you're upstairs, you can enjoy spectacular views. Here's some more. The 
Cathedral is 365 feet, which brings one foot for each day of the year. That's what Christopher Wren wanted. Charles and Diana got married in St. Paul's Cathedral. It's 10 p.m. Time to go.